Well, good evening, guys. I'm starting a vlog again in the evening. There's proof. It's actually just gone a little... <laughs> I think I need to trim my whiskers. Blah. It's just gone 11 o'clock, actually, at night. <clears throat> Run the clippers over my beard again, I think. And trim the old whiskers, because I keep eating them. Anyway... Um, as you'll know from the previous Avidya, I bought that tripod, which I presume from the bracket was meant for a telescope or something similar. But what I'm going to do is um, edit this if you like, and uh, heck, I'm using computer terms in reality now. That's scary. <laughs> Gonna modify this. So, the camera will sit on it. And I've got some materials ready, such as the bolt. And a couple of washers down here as well. I just need some sort of adhesive, probably a good super glue. Um, a sheet of plastic. Or something I can cut a square of plastic out of. Because I've got a Dremel tool with the um, circular blade on. So I could easily cut the plastic. Um, and a drill. And that is pretty much it. I've run out of super glue. So I'm going to have to get some when I can. But my idea is. Because this has got these um, little lips on here. I'm going to cut these off. So the top bit is just perfectly flat and level. Um, then I'm going to stick a square of plastic over the top of that. Then what I'm going to do is drill a hole through the bottom of this bracket into the plastic plate that will be sitting on this end. Then put the bolt through and uh, the camera will then screw to the top of this bolt. And this can go back on the tripod using the existing mount. Pretty simple thing to do. And with the bolt going through this and the plastic top that I'll put on here, it will um, add a bit more strength to it. It shouldn't, shouldn't in theory, come unstuck. If I just press that bolt out, I might use a lock nut, actually. Um, that might be a better option. Because otherwise vibrations are going to loosen this nut off. Uh, if I have to use some washers... Because ideally I'd want the camera to butt up against this nut, if I can. It's not important, but I think it'll look a bit tidier if it does, and a bit more secure. So that's the plan for the tripod anyway. It's so simple. I will do a video on it when I've got the uh, rest of the parts ready and tools. Um, until I sell a couple of bikes, I am actually now broke near enough. Um, so I paid someone some cash that I owed them. Fudge. Something just cracked in my back. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh crap. I'm just having a shift around in here because I might play some GTA later. I don't know. I don't know if I'm in the mood. If I'm lucky. Whoopsie. The end part for this Carrera will come tomorrow. And I've actually decided. Now, when I do projects of my own, such as this Carrera and Claude II in the bedroom, I'm going to do step-by-step -step repairs. So, actually, I want to get that tripod done as soon as I can, because I can use that, because it'll be easier to set the camera up, because uh, I'll have some, you know, be able to adjust the camera to different positions and whatnot. A lot easier than trying to sit this and balance it on batteries and I don't know what else I've used. Lego is another one I've used. <laughs> uh, 
But I need to have a look around to see what I've got that's made out of plastic that I can cut a square out of. Preferably black so it all looks the same, although I'm not bothered. So I'm sort of going redneck with the um, <laughs> with the tripod. But it doesn't matter, as long as it holds the camera, I don't care. You're not going to see it because you're going to be sitting on top of it. Um, but that would help me out a lot when um, I want to do videos where um, I'm actually uh, showing you how to do a step-by-step -step repair on things. Mostly bicycles because that's what I mostly know how to fix. Or computers as and when they break. But um, Oh, that actually reminds me. This thing did something really, really weird. I was um, rendering up a video, um, so I had Movie Maker running, and the only other two programs I had actively running, apart from AVG of course, because that's always running, um, was Firefox, um, playing Netflix, and my Yahoo Messenger. And I'm not kidding, all I did, because I wanted to listen to that CD I got today, now that's what I call Music 47. Pardon me. And um, all I did was open the DVD ROM drawer, put the CD in, close the DVD ROM drawer. ROM, yeah, ROM drawer. For some reason, I thought I said that wrong. I'm going crackers tonight. Anyway, uh, and as soon as that drawer closed and it started, you know, to spin up, this Netflix sort of froze and the audio froze and made a weird noise. And then all of a sudden I got this error pop up on screen saying Windows 10 has um, suffered an error or something and will will restart. And the next thing I know the computer is restarting all by itself. I'm not sure if it's a good thing that Windows 10 does that. I suppose it is because it saves you having to manually restart. But I can't believe that the only thing that set it off was opening and closing that CD drawer. I mean, you don't expect a modern piece of equipment like that. One minute. A bit's of biscuit in my mouth. <laughs> I just munched on a couple of those. I wanted a snack, so I did some toast and had a couple of those and took my evening diabetic pill. <clears throat> right. So, yeah, that was a weird thing. But I have to say, it annoyed the frickin' hell out of me. Because I had to um, start saving the, the um, video again, because it hadn't finished. But thankfully, Movie Maker was able to restore my last session. That was a good feature. So I didn't actually lose my progress, I just had to start the saving again. So, yeah. Not all is bad. That would have really ticked me off if I had actually lost it and had to go through all the editing again. And I've done a little video, a bonus one, that you'll see before this one actually on um, what software I use. It's just the bog standard Windows Movie Maker. Where's my fan at that angle? <clears throat> lazy ass is on the bed. Cats are so lazy, but then again I suppose... When you're an indoor cat, there ain't a lot to do, is there? Mind you, when I see cats outside, they're not doing a lot either. They're usually sleeping somewhere or sitting somewhere. <laughs> right. Oh, WD-40 that stem up yesterday. I still haven't attempted to uh, budget. That's not a five mil hexagon key. Should we just try and do that? <clears throat> Damn, I forgot to get the WD-40. I'm running very low, never mind. Hopefully this weekend I can get to the recycle centre. Because I need some stock. <clears throat> um, that's what I came in here for, wasn't that a hexagon key? It should be... Why have I got a lorry trailer on me? Lego Remote Control is on here as well for some reason.
That's a six mil. That's a six mil. Yep. I always tell my six mil because I spilled black paint on it. Because <laughs> I bought those long ones as a set. Again, out of good old little. I think it's a five mil. Memory serves correctly. Well, it's had like 24 hours to soak, so I ain't gonna budge now. It ain't ever gonna budge, is it? All right. Oh, no, I think that just rung off the nut. Run it straight off. Oh well, <clears throat> I'll just change the stem. I'll have to ditch that one. Actually, I'll put that back on my tool tray so so I know where the damn thing is. If I keep my tools back in the tray, in theory, I shouldn't have to go hunting for them. But that doesn't always work. Jesus, how many freaking Coca-Cola bottles have I got dotted around here? I've got two down there, two there, one hiding down there, two hiding underneath that bottom shelf that I completely forgot about. Yeah. Got both of those made up. They're nothing special, they're just little Technic sets. Ideal though, if you've got kids just starting out with Technic, you know, it's just something really, really simple. <laughs> Turn a knob and the uh, arm goes up and down. So we've got the tow truck and the cherry picker. I think I like the cherry picker the best, but... Anyway, I think I actually showed those in the other video. Right, um... Yeah, I've got those chicken figures posted off. So, pretty much like the last video, I'm going to turn the camera off and turn it back on again when I get out of bed. Don't know what time that's going to be, and if the phone rings, I'm going to throw it out the fucking window, because that's pissing me off this morning. <clears throat> and, uh... <coughs> oh, dear me. Yeah, so, um... I shall talk to you again when there's daylight shining through these windows. And it's daylight just like that. Uh, anyone fancy a boo a booze to drink? Some some boot there 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 there. Can you tell I haven't been awake long? Yeah, there's a booze lorry over there. Delivering to a pub which is somewhere just through there. On the other side of this building. Anyway. I've got to remember where I put it. I think. I left it up here. Package arrived. Now the other thing I've got to remember, where did I put the scissors? Chuck them over here. I did. Right. I'm gonna pop you on that stack of CDs. A little bit of light on the subject. I haven't even had breakfast yet. I've just been sitting here. What's the time? 20 past 10. I've been awake. Not quite an hour. Right. I like to reuse these. As I do the odd bit of selling on eBay. There's the part. That's the invoice. Not every seller um, 
includes an invoice, but I actually find a lot of the eBay shops do. Goes to one side, so there's our little hanger. Meant to be an emergency hanger for the um, bike. So we'll soon see if this actually works. It feels I'm quite solid and sturdy. A bit thick though, but that shouldn't make any difference to be honest. Pretty much all it is, it's just cut. Laser cut maybe from a um, chunk of metal. That's all it is. Yeah, I would actually expect it's probably laser cut. It probably costs them next to nothing to make it. Well, I shouldn't think it cost a lot to make it anyway. I suppose that is an oval there so you can adjust the height if you have to. It's definitely about. Don't know what sort of metal it is though. I've got a magnet. It's actually quite nice. For something that's only meant to be temporary, it's actually made quite nicely. I just got to hope it works. <laughs> um, I went on eBay again last night um, and I bought a switch for the electric bike. Proper you know, key switch. They call it an ignition switch, but it's really just a key switch. Um, for $2.99, and I figured for that price, if I went to Wilco's or somewhere in town to buy a just a toggle switch or something, it's going to cost me around about the same price. So. I just figured I might as well get the proper key switch for it. Uh, I want to put some um, Lego tiles so I can continue when I arrive with the Lego hospital. I'm going to need some more tiles, but I'm sure there was something else I bought last night as well. The switch the tiles. I can't remember. <laughs> I was getting pretty damn tired when I um, was ordering. I had four lots of these tiles, Lego tiles I needed um, left, so I bought all four. So I'm going to need extras of those anyway. So all I need to do now is get the cash together for the um, charger for the electric bike. Oh, I've already had feedback left for the um, key switch. Oh, it was just the tiles and the key switch I bought then. Oh. I thought I bought more than that. <laughs> Uh, I was just thinking whether to delete a few things out of my watching list, but I'll keep it for now. Yeah, I figured um, I'm likely going to need some other size tiles for that Lego hospital as well, but I can order them later. <coughs> that and I think I've only got three pounds something left in my um, PayPal account. Uh, but um, I figured if I keep putting things off like this I'll never buy the stuff I need to complete projects so I think I actually got the Nintendo Wii. I think it's just the two cables I need for the Nintendo Wii.
Oh yeah, and the sensor bar. I haven't got the sensor bar, have I? So it's three items I need for the Wii. I put a couple of um, Lego Technic sets in my watching as well. Right, what I'm going to do... Let's just quickly check my emails, make sure no one's messaged me in regards to the bikes I've got for sale. Uh, private medical insurance. Oh, I don't fucking want private medical insurance. It's meant to be in the spam folder. Right. Nope, absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing of any use anyway, right. Scroll that back up. Anywhere else I need to check before I disappear? No. Nope. I need my wallet. There's not a lot in my wallet, but I still need it. <laughs> So, um, I actually like this setup, to be honest. So I, mean, I haven't got to hold the camera, and I can actually talk to it comfortably. Hmm, I might do this a bit more often when I'm doing the chatty bits like this. Um, as for that, I don't actually. I was going to do a separate video on it, but I don't actually know if it's worth it. Not for this bit. I might do it for things like the chain and installing cables and whatnot, but this and that. If it was the proper piece, I would have, but. Oh, it is threaded. I'm just making sure the hole was threaded. <laughs> right, so I'm going to disappear. And I still hear that beer lorry clanging the um, beer barrels around. <clears throat> Taking away the empties and bringing in the fulls. I just don't drink beer. <laughs> or lager. I'm just I'm not an ale or a beer or a lager drinker. I'm not really a drinker. Anyway, I shall talk to you all later. Look, it's upside down. It's also got a chain on it and a derailleur. So, um, I've got to pump the tyres up. There's a weird noise coming from the back here, and I think it's coming from the disc brake. Hmm, something a bit out of place there. It works. Yeah, it's the brake. Because I stopped it when I got to about there. Need some adjustment on those pads. I'll do all that when it's up the right way. Yeah, I was thinking, what cash have I got left? Not a lot. <laughs> but, uh, I've got that bike being collected tomorrow, so it's not a bad thing, really. So I've got a choice, so I could either go and get a cable, or the cables now. No, though, because I think I could salvage the rear cable, to be honest. A uh, little bit of oil down that outer should uh, free it off and give it a clean. I can try that, at least. I suppose it's better than um, 
I'm wasting the cash. I still haven't found my hand pump. I need that because uh, the foot pump hasn't got an adapter for the Presta valves. Uh, I can't remember where I've put the hand pump. I know it's up here in the flat somewhere. I say that a lot, don't I? It's up in the flood somewhere. Oh well, I suppose I could run to Wilco and just grab a a brake brake cable, a gear cable at least, because I know I definitely need one of those for it. Uh, uh, pardon me. Find my brake discs up. This is actually an 18 speed, by the way. Even though it's only got two gears at the front, because it's got nine at the back. Two nines, 18. Um, I think I could salvage the front gears as well if I just lubricate the cable as well. And the derailleur. I mean, this hasn't actually been used. It's got to be a good year and a half, two years. Because I know my friend had at least a year, at least, um, just sitting in his shed. Because like me, he wasn't going to get rid of it at first. He wanted to um, keep it and fix it, but uh, he got himself another bike. So, uh, ended up selling this. Yeah, straighten that mud guard out. I'll make some adjustment on these stays because it's too close to the tyre. Oh, I know what it is. There we go. It's just this bit was out. Don't care. Oh, there's my discs. The question is, what the fuck did I do with my uh, bolts? I know I've got some assorted bolts somewhere. Ah, I think they're in one of the tubs that are up on that shelf. That's right then. Right, well, I've got a couple of quid or so spare and change. Mum's trolley coin. It's not the original chain that came off this, because I've lost it. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. I might have used it accident. I think. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty certain I used it on a bike accidentally. Oops. Well, that don't matter. That was the perfect length, that one. I did try like putting a couple of chains together to make one long enough, but uh, that doesn't always work. And that's probably not recommended either. I certainly wouldn't recommend it. Um, yeah, but I took a chunk out of this one, which is actually pretty damn hard to split. And put it with another one that's in this box, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Because sometimes when you link two different chains together, Unless you've got the exact same type of chain, you'll find that where the two chains join, the link will just be stuck solid. Um, and that's what was actually happening on that, so... Yeah, that's why I pulled out the box and decided to see if I had a chain long enough, and uh, yeah. But, uh, so long as I don't take the wheel out, that um, hanger will actually work. Um, and the other problem I've got is I've actually misplaced the remains of the original hanger. I was storing it up here out of the way. The chances are it's gotten knocked and moved somewhere or... If I could find it I'd have taken a trip down to the cycle shop that's just opened in town and... Uh, seen uh, if he could order one in because um, one he's closer and two he's local and I'd rather support a, a local shop rather than go to somewhere like Cromer or Norwich or somewhere <clears throat> anyway believe it or not, do you know what is really odd I was always told you don't cut the grass when it's wet right that's what I was always told. I don't know the specific reason. I'm guessing just because the grass will stick like hell to the underside of your mower and your grass box and 
the fact that you'd actually get wet if you were doing it in the rain. <laughs> it's not a good idea to cut the grass with an electric mower when it's pissing down with rain, but yeah, but you can't guess what it's doing outside. Hey, welcome to Norfolk, England. You know, they actually say that us people in East Anglia, especially Norfolk, have webbed feet. It's just sort of like a, a piss take joke out of us, but uh, can you see why? It's evolution, that's what it is. If we have webbed feet, it's evolution. Because it's so fucking wet round here. <laughs> We've evolved to <laughs> have webbed feet. <laughs> but yeah, um, Victory had their grass cuts round today, cutting the grass. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to be out there doing that. Oh well, if they get paid to do it, then they can only do what they're told, can Well actually I've got four pounds and change there, I could have got both cables, but for now I'll just get the gear cable, I think. Because the brake cable does still pull fine, it's just a bit sticky, but if I disassemble the rear brake Take the cable off, take the cable out of the um, outer, squirt some oil or something down it. I've got oil downstairs. Um, and take some steel wool to the cable just to get any rough edges and perhaps rusty burrs and whatnot off. If rusty burrs even exist, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I might be just making shit up there. And that should revive that gear. Um, brake cable, I'm getting the cables confused now. Pretty much the same with this um, front gear cable, although I've got a funny feeling it's more to do with the drilling getting a bit sticky. Where's my WD actually? I'll turn the bike up the right way and that can soak while I'm out. There it is. I'll get the stem changed on Claude the second. The more I actually look at that bike, the more I like it. And the more I'm looking forward to getting it all done and set up to how I like it so I can use it. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to get all the mechanism and joints and springs and whatnot. And then I'll move it up and down. In fact, while it's upside down. You do this. That can sort of hopefully run. Come on. Some of it can run down that cable as well. Right, I'll turn those off. don't need my wallet for this trip. I've got to charge the camera. Ay, ay, ay. Right, I'll do that then. So, uh, I think I'll do a separate video installing cables and whatnot on there. Just think I've actually done them before, but there's no harm in doing them again, is there? So, uh, I'll talk to you all later. Remind me not to rotate the screens as hard as I just did because I may end up breaking the camera if I do that too many times anyway um, plans changed I didn't go to Wilco's to get the cables um, mostly because I realized I needed electric on the meter because I'd forgotten I'd hit the emergency so I had to go top that up um, I only had fiver which um, paid back the emergency I'd use, so I've only got £1.50 on the meter, but that's enough till morning. And it's not a problem because um, that Magna jump bike has sold, so... If I really want to, I could walk around to the paper shop right now and top up the meter, but there's more than enough till morning on there. There'll probably still be like £1 on the meter by the time I wake up. So uh, I'm not too fussed, that'll do till morning. 
uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, so that's why I didn't go and get the cables, because I had to prioritise. Because uh, at the time, I didn't know anyone was going to be interested in the Magna until sort of like about an hour and a half ago, by which time Wilco was closed anyway. So, because if I'd known someone was going to buy the bike, I'd have uh, gone and got the cables and got the electric now, but never mind. No, no hurry for the cables. Uh, cable, cables, possibly cable. I'm going to look into that brake cable in a little bit, I think. Uh, yeah. I finally found my hand pump. It's been under my nose all day. <laughs> it's laying down there. Right there. <laughs> my own bicycle pump. I keep a hand pump up here because uh, it's handy when you're doing um, puncture repairs and whatnot. You just want to pump a tyre up to see if it goes flat. Or to see if a tube is punctured, you know, you don't want to get out a bloody heavy old foot pump just to do simple tasks like that. So that's why I keep a hand pump up here, and I think I've got two or three down in the shed. Got two or three over at Mum's as well, I've got hand pumps everywhere actually. I'm definitely not short of bicycle pumps. Although at the moment, for $5.99, Lidl's has got some... Um, Decent floor pumps, you know, the ones that you stand on the floor and you put your foot on it to hold it and pump, up, pump it up and down like a maniac. Yeah, it's been tempting. Technically, I've got one, but it's been over at Dad's for the past sort of two or three years, so. <laughs> it's a typical family thing, you know, permanent loan. You loan something out, you never get it back. <laughs> Well, actually, it's probably buried in his garage somewhere, and he's forgotten about it, but I don't matter. It's not like pumps are expensive anyway. And like I said, that was... It's got to be at least three years ago now, to be honest. Right. I've just put a, a video up on the LEGO channel. Uh, I think the next one I'll do Monday. And I am starting to use... Or I have decided to use Movie Maker more to its potential when I do my videos. If I can see a use for it, you know, if I could, if I'm doing a, a video on a specific thing, then I could put a title at the start. But it's no point for little video blogs like this. But, uh, yeah, I've got 200 and. 37 subscribers on the Lego channel. It's slowly going up. I've got a Facebook page for Le that light. That is that light. It only blurs out on my screen when I get in the light wrong. Yeah, um, I've got a Lego Facebook page as well, and that shot right up in um, page likes last year for a. Uh, just over a year, I only had like three or four hundred page likes. Then all of a sudden, January last year, um, 2015, my likes just start going up by the hundreds a day. And I don't know why, because all I kept doing was commenting on other LEGO pages' posts and sharing their posts, and that's all I've done. And my likes just went twing. So I think I've got something like 2,600 page likes now on that page. And that is all I do. Maybe once a day or once every other day I just go onto the page and share um, share some um, posts from other pages. And I've got people from all over the world on there. Although Facebook has changed it now. Hmm, is that a shit? Because it used to be where you'd go onto your, your page like that. 
and you would actually be using Facebook as your page. So if you clicked home, you'd have a home page for your Facebook page. You wouldn't go to your actual main account home page. But they've changed it now so you stay connected to your main account, but you can still edit and whatnot and post to your Lego page. It's a bit annoying not having a home page because I did like that because it was just easier to get to all the other Lego pages but I did notice they've now got see pages feed so I'll do is click on the pages feed and I've got loads of pages that I've liked down there and I can actually pick up a whole list and uh, I could just scroll down pick um, some posts I like um, I'm not boss, you know, I might be a big Lego City fan at heart, but I like lots of things that people have created. I'm starting to get into Lego Technic as well now, that's probably not a good thing. Not for my wallet anyway. <laughs> Lego City is expensive enough without adding another theme to it. <sighs> Then again, you know, what hobby isn't expensive? Most hobbies are. Look at model railways. The amount of money um, that model railway enthusiasts put into building their model railways. It's, it can go into quadruple figures and more by the time, you know, they've done it. And it can take years to complete depending on the size of the layout as well. What else is to this expensive? I suppose gaming isn't cheap either, is it? I know there's a lot... I don't know if any gamers would consider it a, a hobby, but um, it's definitely an interest, isn't it? Because you're either interested in gaming or you're not, you know? It's just... I don't know. <laughs> But by the time you've bought your console or your um, PC gaming rig or built it, then you buy all the games. You know, some games aren't cheap either. So, yeah. <laughs> A lot of hobbies, I don't think there's... I was going to say there's no such thing as a cheap hobby, but... I don't want to say that because there probably is cheaper hobbies out there, like stamp collecting. <laughs> what else is there? Blech. I've sort of been going to bed late and getting up quite early. I think it's because uh, I'm sort of having a weird moment with my sleeping pattern. I don't want to go to bed early, but I don't want to lay in bed late either. You know, not till 11, 12 o'clock. Which is, uh, I just, I don't know, it's just a weird... I'm just weird. Minecraft. Oh, that's from the actual thing, the official Lego page. But this is all I did. I'd just sit on here on the, my Lego page like this and I'll just hit the like button, hit the share, leave a comment if I feel like it. And uh, ever since I started doing that, my own Lego page is just shot through the roof with page likes. Do I actually? Can I actually see my page likes if I just go back to the main page? My timeline. 100% response rate, one day or more to respond. I 
it gives you your insights as well. Like this week I've had 635 post reach, 36 post engagement, no website clicks, response rate zero of zero. Yeah, because I've put my um what should be up there. Yep, my um YouTube channel is on here. 2817 likes, four new ones this week. That was actually a lot more than I thought I had. So, uh, yeah, I'm still climbing. I get a few a week now, I suppose. It depends on the day as well. Yeah, it's still, my likes are still climbing slowly. I'm just get a little bit of replay to something. Oh, yeah. Right, so I can delete that email. Someone's in it. Two people are actually interested in another bike. Really, really need to uh, get down to the recycle centre. Because I am running um, short on stock. I don't particularly want to start selling my own bikes. Okay, I've shared a few posts. May take a few photos and put my own up. I'll do that as well with my page. Um, I mean, I've got two YouTube channels, the Lego one and this one. Um, I wish I could think of things that I could actually do on this channel other than talk about the shit I do every day, which usually isn't a lot. And I do find things just for a bit of content, you know, something I could take apart, put together, fix, etc, etc. Et Need more. Suppose if I wasn't in a flat, then I could find more to video. I'm just scrolling on the switch back to my main account 97 subscribers welcome to the new welcome all new subscribers I would like to hit the hundred mark that's my goal at the moment hit the hundred mark and if anyone has any suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments that's uh, what it's there for How can you send component video down a headphone cable? What's up, boss? watch on the main channel either. I think I've watched most vidges. Come on people, there's two people uh, interested. Neither of them have bloody replied. I, that does annoy me. <laughs> Maybe one of them's found something else I don't know or he just hasn't checked his emails. Right. I think that WD-40 has had long enough to soak down into the front gear cables, so I think I can flip the Carrera back up the right way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you there. The one thing I don't like about this Panasonic is the LCD. It's one of those that if you get, if you're not looking at it square on, everything just sort of bleeds together and you get a, you can't see anything clearly if I come off to the side like I am now it's gone all dark and I can't see anything clearly but if I lean forwards like that I can see it that's the only bugbear I got with that but it's better than the other two so I can't complain too much well actually I suppose I can't complain at all can I 
product. Bearings are good. Get these tires pumped up. See what I mean? This isn't a heavy bike. <laughs> this is probably the lightest I've got. Have a rear reflector. This is going to have to have one. I've got a front one. I've got some lights I can chuck on. I've got these ones off my um, Claude. Sure, yeah, that is actually quite bright, isn't it? <laughs> Button's a bit dicky on that one, though. Um, or I've got a bike hat set. I've got some lights anyway, I can chuck on that. Uh, in fact, I think one's on the shelf by the front door. But I don't know where the front one is. <laughs> oh yes I do, it's in the bedroom. I know exactly where that is, or was. May not be there. <laughs> Shall we actually have a look? <laughs> Let's go have a look in the bedroom. It was over on this whoopsie desk over here yeah there it is and I've got the rear one out by the front door that goes with it Oof. need to get in here and just get some of these someone's tooting their friggin horn oh yes change the stem that's what I was going to do don't know if I can be bothered to do it tonight, no. But uh, it does need changing. Now what have I stood on? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Right. I'm going to keep that box because it's a good strong one. I like a boxes. I think I'm actually going to go through a lot of the boxes I've got. Um, up on the cabinet because I don't... Oh, I know what that is. I've got a feeling there's a young lady up there with kids, and I bet one of her kids is in the car playing with the horn again. <laughs> I've just realised from the direction that was coming from. Right, I want to get some models lined up there. I did... Um, Search some Lego Technic sets on Pieron to see if I had the uh, spare Technic, most of it is in there, to build, uh, you know, my own, um, or to build some sets out of my own Lego, so to speak, but uh, nope. But to be honest, a lot of smaller sets aren't going to cost that much off eBay anyway, so. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disappear for a little while because. I don't know, I might grab a bath. Do that stem. And go take a dump, so I'll be back later. Well, I have a power cut. <laughs> Hence the uh, poor lighting. <laughs> yep, I just uh, probably a majority of our row that's happened before. So I've pulled out the battery radio and I'm actually trying to uh, find a way to install some um, battery lights up on the ceiling. So yeah, exciting. <laughs> we have no power, Captain. No idea. Last time, this usually happens actually later at night. And I've been awake at like one, two o'clock in the morning. It's not an, a um, common thing either. Ooh. 
that screw took really well. What's the button? I'll get these lights up and power will come back on. Probably will, but I've got to do something because I can't see fuck all. <laughs> to put these up with it. Ah. Longer screws up here have worked. I've got another two of these so I could probably dot put another one somewhere. Only I would have a flat with emergency lighting. <laughs> These ones are actually pretty good because I can um, have that setting as well. And put them on. Pity they weren't LED, but never mind. Uh, whoops. Yeah, somewhere I have another set of those. I think I've even got sets still in the box. Da, 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 da. I've got an LED one I've got to put up there. Back on the bracket. Which might have been the one I stood on the floor with earlier. In here. It is. And the only thing is, I ain't got no batteries. <laughs> This one still works, so I'll take this one down. There we go. A bit of light in here so I can at least see to get around. Right. There. There's the other one that's lost the battery compartment. Should have one more somewhere. I can leave that one on because uh, that's a lead. The only problem is I'm losing light. <laughs> so trying to find things at the moment is going to be um, tricky. So. Um, well hopefully I'll come back later and I'll have some power, so fingers crossed. We have power! At last. It's been down. Got to be at least two hours. At least. <clears throat> I actually gave mum a phone call. Um, just for something to do, really, and someone to talk to. Uh, so, I can actually plug my cyclite in for the first time to charge. It's still working, but the um, battery low light came on. So, I figured I'd give it a check. Well, I've got a green light on. I, uh... I actually have no idea how to tell. I love this cable. <laughs> it's only a cheap novelty thing, but I still love it. Right, let's get signed in. Uh, took out 
get the main set of traffic lights in town as well and the train station and some of the neighbouring buildings so I presume the circuit we are on, my street is on, is probably on the same circuit as the traffic lights for them to uh, all go down like that they'd have to be on the same circuit and uh, I remember many years ago when a friend of mine lived at the other end of the block they were doing some work at those traffic lights and went through a power cable and took out this road as well <laughs> so yeah I am pretty certain that my roads on the same circuit and the traffic lights were actually down the other day that's the other part I don't understand because the traffic light, those same traffic lights were down the other day but my power wasn't so maybe we're not on the same circuit maybe a master circuit breaker tripped in the um, substation, I don't know maybe something tripped and took out two circuit breakers in the substation, I don't know but there's no roadworks or anything so it had to have been an issue in the main substation <clears throat> anyway I have power back But, uh, at least I've got some emergency lighting back up. You see, people laugh. They, some people laugh at people like me because we have things like emergency lights dotted around. No, I've now installed that one up on the ceiling. It's not on there straight, so I'm going to take it down and just straighten that up. But. I just need to undo one screw and rotate the um, bracket, that's all. Yeah, I've got some more of those. I could actually put one of those in my three main rooms, actually. <laughs> so I've got brackets for all of them. It's just a case of actually finding them, because one of them I know it's just got a battery pack missing. Pardon me. That is a piece of shit. I know I got it from the dump, but it's still a piece of shit. See this scroll wheel, you can hear it clicking, it doubles up as the on off switch. But uh, for some reason I was just rolling up and turn, adjusting the volume, then it just got to the point where I actually had to hold it down for the radio to work, so I had to put a bit of tape on it just to listen to some music while power was out. Well actually I didn't, not for long because I fucked off outside for a little while. I went and sat and watched the world go by at the um, broken traffic lights. Oh, and my sister got me good as well. I rung my mum Obviously not knowing that my sister was paying a visit, and because my sister was um, closest to the phone at mum, she answered. And she put on a different voice, so I didn't recognise it. So I instantly thought I'd run the wrong number. Had I? No. So my sister, yeah, I'll give my sister um, 10 out of 10 for that one. She actually got me. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Mum said she'd ring in a little while. I don't know if she will or not, but... <sighs> I'm actually sweating. Well, I weren't doing any work in the substation because I cycled up there. And there weren't no um, vans or anything. And I think it was just sort of like... my road, if you like, that was uh, down. Apart from the Salvation Army across the way there, they still had power along with the flats right at the um, entrance to my road. Oh goody. Goody 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 goody. 
Still no replies to those ads though in all this time, but maybe one of them's had loss of power as well. <laughs> but because I know one of them that messaged me is in town. Oh, pardon me. Alright, so I'm going to do that. Delete. Okay. <sighs> I've never got a message on Facebook that I haven't been able to answer. 99% <laughs> of my friends probably still had uh, Nope, mine has been down for the past, the post, the past couple of hours or so. Uh, right, uh, well, <laughs> we'll call it quits for this video then. That was a bit of excitement, wasn't it, ish? I've stuck a light up there as well. Uh, I've got one under the shelf behind me. Don't really need them, but they could be handy. Don't need them because I've got that big one up on the ceiling. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe if you want to, of course. And uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye bye.